You know, my parents would always say, never judge a book by its cover. Or that's a saying of, I don't know, society at this point. But recently, I'm judging this book pretty hard by its cover. And what I'm talking about today is the Netflix adaptation of Avatar. And I am so furious. I, I've i just been reading up and just, I honestly, I was hyped. And I was reading up on what the heck they were talking about, about what was going on with the Avatar and all that stuff. And I cannot begin to even describe the stupidity of this. Here's the thing. <laughs> They're saying, and this is the headline, right? Netflix Avatar, the last Air Airbender series, is hoping to appeal to Game of Thrones fans. What the fuck do you mean? I honestly want to know what the fuck you mean by this, right? What do you mean, appeal to Game of Thrones fans, right? I'm a Game of Thrones fan. Well, I was until, like, they botched, like, season 5 through 8. I love Avatar too. I watch the animated series every year. I know that seems excessive, but that's how much I love that show. And they're saying they're going to appeal it to Game of Thrones. What do you mean? What needs to appeal? Like, this show was perfect as is, right? Now, all I'm thinking in my head is... Are they going to make uh, Katara and Sokka have, like, a loving relationship? I don't know, give uh, birth to, like, a raging tyrant? Are they going to have Lord Ozai castrate, like, Aang? Is that what they're going for? I, like, I don't know what you, what you mean by this. And he goes on to say, like, ahead of the new outgoing release uh, later this month, Albert Kim described the live action as a remix, not a cover. If you get a show... You get an IP and all of that stuff. There is a story that's already been laid out. There's a reason why we gamers, we don't like watching movie adaptations of, you know, famous game franchises. Because they make this whole debacle, like, for example, Halo. Halo is a very good example of this. They made a whole debacle of its entire storyline. I don't know, putting in all this, like, social justice warrior bullshit into all of it. That made it just really bad, unwatchable, right? And still they're approved for a second season. I don't know anything about. Couldn't just be for kids. Dude, I'm an adult. I'm an adult and I still watch Avatar The Last Airbender animated. I still watch it animated. It's already for adults. <laughs> I have no idea. So what are you going to do? You're going to make them have sex on screen? Is that is that the way we're going to go now? My god. And then season 2 and 3 are a lot more mature in theme than, say, season 1. The themes in Avatar are already mature as is. And I'm just going to go ahead and label it out for you. Sokka is a sexist. For a good reason. I'm, I'm about to get into that too in a bit because they're taking that out, apparently. Sokka is a sexist, right? Lord Ozai is an abusive father, right? And he also uh, committed genocide. Literally Uncle Iroh losing his son, right, during a war. I can keep on going into more mature topics that the animated show covered. What the fuck do you th they mean by this? I don't... I just... <sighs> Look, I'm just angry, man. Not only are they going to go ahead and make it more like Game of Thrones. I don't know, we're going to have incest or something now. But then they're like, we took out Sexus Sokka. You do realize if you're going to make it like Game of Thrones, right? Game of Thrones had sexism. Literally, we had the fact that no female queen or no female could go ahead and take the Iron Throne with Cersei not being able to take the Iron Throne, whatever. I can go into so many other tropes, right? Heck, um, it's, it's insane how I have to go ahead and explain this. And... I know they're not going to watch this video, but look, other fans will kind of go ahead and relate to what I'm saying here. Sokka's sexism was the entire point of him growing as a character. Zuko going ahead and hunting down the avatar for his dad's approval is the entire point to his character. Aang being a kid is the entire point to his character, right? Sexism, the reason why it's there... You have the Southern Water Tribe and the Northern Water Tribe that did stuff in different ways. 
Sokka even believed that hey, women shouldn't go like this because he believed his uh, like his teachings from his tribes and whatever, and he just didn't want to be shown up. But then he changes that feeling later after seeing that it doesn't help, right? If you take that away from him, he's basically like a tree that you draw in the background that just follows the characters around. You've destroyed the entire point of this guy, and he won't be relevant till like the final book. And then they go ahead and say, there's more weight with realism in every way. If you want to talk about weight with realism, there's still sexism out in the world, right? You're talking about a kid's show. You're going to keep the kid audience, which I'm going to go ahead and jump to that article in a bit. You're going to keep the kid audience, but also make it more like Game of Thrones, but then make them SJWs like, oh my god, we, we, can't, uh, we can't offend the masses. You're you're destroying the show. Oh yeah, this is uh, another piece on what do you say? Like girls are better at fixing pants than guys or whatever. So what? That's just how it was. Like I talked about the whole tribalism thing. And then there are some brain dead journalists that are possibly just paid at this point that goes ahead and takes a take of Netflix Avatar as the last airbender has a plan in place to handle its young act- actors aging. Okay. That's not going to help if you make the show dog shit. I'm not going to even begin to describe the disappointment and the anger I feel. And I can only imagine with other fans of the show, of Avatar The Last Airbender and all that stuff, right? The show that we love is about to get butchered. And look, M. Night Shyamalama Ding Dong just went ahead and butchered it like 10, 15 years ago with his rendition. Of course, this is going to get, uh, like, butchered again. And it's just the point of the fact that, like, nothing needs to be changed when it comes to a good story. A good story is a good story. It doesn't matter what elements it has. If you're offended by sexism, like a kid's show having sexism, go watch a different fucking show. I I don't know what to tell you, right? If you want to make more Game of Thrones-like, then by all means, watch House of the Dragons or Game of Thrones. Don't make Avatar into that. (laughs) And I don't know what fan base you're going to keep because they're going to be people like me. Again, diehard fans of the original Avatar The Last Airbenders. And we're going to look at this and just be like, what kind of piece of dog shit is this? Right? And then what younger audience are you going to make it? Uh, are you going to bring? You're making more Game of Thrones like. And then the older audience like me, who again grew up on this, are going to look at this and just be like, what's this dog shit? <sighs> Some people are just plainly stupid, and you just can't cure stupidity, at least from the way I'm seeing it. But with that being said, it's been me, the most practical of Asians, or practical Asian, it's there in the name. Um, like, comment, subscribe, uh, dislike it if you dislike it, honestly, or practically. I could give less of a shit about Netflix's Avatar The Last Airbender. See you around. Bye.